Yo, what is good, YouTube? Christian checking back in with another video. In this video, I will be playing footage from Olympia TV. This was a recent podcast that aired last night. If you guys haven't seen it, I will link it below in the description. Now, this was between Tarek L. Gendy, super promoter and judge, Bob Chicarillo, the voice of bodybuilding and the athlete's rep, Honey Rambai, possibly the greatest coach in bodybuilding history, the 17th Mr. Olympia, Heidi Chupin, and last but not least, Olympia head judge Big Steve. And in this video, they broke down the top five guys from this year's Olympia, including Andrew Jett. Now, I'm only going to play the footage. I'm not going to commentate this whole video, only the intro, because these words are coming straight from Big Steve, the Olympia head judge. And I agree 100% with everything that he has to say. But if you guys haven't done so already, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Steve. I thought Andrew Jack is a specimen that we have not seen before. He's a tall, potential Ronnie Coleman. Do you agree with that statement? 100%. 100%. If he was in better condition the night of the Olympia, he would have been a lot better place. His legs were not what they should have been. His back wasn't what he should have been. His condition was off. His body parts were off. And... Honestly, it did not look like the Rami of 2020. More of the Rami of 2021, just even in worse condition in 2021. He he came down even worse in 21. I think 220 was the best Rami, and the New York Pro was the second best Rami. But those two were a lot closer to 21 and 22. 21 and 22. We're, we're not the real Rami that we know. I don't know whether he has a back injury or a shoulder, a soldier, a, a sh soldier injury, but there's some problem somewhere with him. I don't know what it is, but something's not right. He needs to bring those legs in the same condition he brings his upper body in. His legs and upper body look like two different bodies. His legs have to come in hard and deep separation, and that's what he's missing. He's placing well because he has beautiful shape. He would place better if he can come in better condition on his legs and hamstrings. He has to do what he did this year, which was amazing. He put on enough of muscle and did not mess with his waist at all. He still had a small waist. He had huge muscles, thick abdominals. He lost nothing and gained size. If he could do that again next year, he'll be right in the mix. He really will be. I mean, it's amazing what he did from last year to this year. He needs to come in with a bigger chest and bigger front thighs. If he could do that and hold his condition, he could push Hadi. That, that's, those are the two things he needs the most of, chest and front thigh. Usually when the guys come out on my sheet, I tick off who I think looks really good. Ticked off Hadi as one of the ones that looked really good. And after I saw him, he just kept getting better and better. And there are times when I tick guys off, and when they come out and go through their compulsories, that tick I mark off because they don't look as good when you start going through the compulsories with them. And he kept getting better and better. And another unusual thing is from Friday night to Saturday, he held his condition perfectly. Some guys get better, some guys get worse. He was spot on Friday and he was spot on Saturday. 